Do elephants really never forget anything? Is it science fact or just a myth that elephants have really good memories? The human brain weighs about three pounds. An elephant's brain can weigh as much as 10 pounds. It has the largest brain of any land mammal. Hey, come on. Keep slowly, 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 slowly. It has been said that elephants are nature's great masterpiece, the only harmless great thing. They're majestic, they are powerful, they have great memories. So the truth is I have been fascinated by elephants for a long time. I love watching documentaries on elephants. I bought this statue of an elephant in Thailand. This one I got in Afghanistan. I picked this painting up in Sri Lanka. And even down here by my sink, I have another statue of an elephant. On top of my refrigerator, I have an elephant here drinking a wine bottle. African elephants can live to be 60 to 70 years old, but that's not the only thing that they have in common with humans. They also mourn their dead. They're the only other animal that has funerals for their dead. And they will throw dirt on them, they will throw leaves and grass on them, and they'll often linger for days or weeks in mourning. But what makes their brains and memories so special? The brain of an elephant has 257 billion neurons. That's three times as many as humans. That doesn't mean they're smarter. They are using their brains in a different way. Two parts of the elephant's brain are especially highly developed. The hippocampus and the cerebral cortex. The hippocampus in elephants, like in humans, is responsible for transferring information from short-term memory to long-term memory. This would explain part of the reason why elephants have such good memories. If there's something that is memorable or has a lot of emotion or action to it, and here's the baby. In elephants, this part of their brain is highly developed. Another part of their brain that's highly developed is their cerebral cortex. The cerebral cortex is essential for problem solving and basic arithmetic. Believe it or not, elephants have been observed to be pretty good at basic arithmetic. They can determine the numbers of, a, of, of buckets of apples and which one has more apples in it. This probably comes in handy for them because they don't want to lose any members of their herd and they travel with about 30. Another function of the cerebral cortex is problem solving. Elephants have been observed to be discussing in their own language, in their own way, which route to take before a journey, before the herd as a whole makes a decision on which path to take. These two parts of the brain, the hippocampus and the cerebral cortex, are why elephants are so good at long-term memory and also why they're good at problem solving. There is a way of estimating an, an animal's intelligence. The encephalization quotient, or the EQ, compares the size of the brain to the size of the animal. To kind of put this in perspective, think of an apple and an avocado. An apple, they're both about the same size, but an apple has tiny seeds. An avocado has a huge seed in comparison to the size of the actual avocado. So it has a larger EQ. So the logic is, is the smaller the EQ, the dumber the animal. For example, humans have an EQ over seven, while pigs, not the smartest animals, have an EQ of about 0.27. Elephants score pretty high on this compared to other, other animals. They have an EQ of 1.88. Comparison, chimpanzees are about 2.5. Female elephants, the matriarchs, they do tend to have a larger EQ than their male counterparts. They have been observed laying heavy branches on fences so they could walk over the fences. 
Time Magazine, The Science of Memory, tells the story of two elephants, Shirley and Jenny. It said Shirley and Jenny had not laid eyes on each other for more than two decades. But when the old friends were brought together for a surprise reunion, that they started roaring and they were frantically trying to get to each other, they remembered their elephant friend from 20 years ago. It says, in 1958, a severe drought ravaged Tanzania's Taranjar National Park. It was home to a large elephant population. Almost 40 years later, when drought conditions returned, the researchers noted that the herd with the youngest matriarch, age 33, remained in the northern area of the park where there was little food or water and two thirds of the calves died. But the older matriarchs, ages 45 and 38, who had survived the trauma of the 1958 drought, fared much better. They led their packs out of the north portion of the park, theoretically to food or water elsewhere. Fewer than 10% of these calves died, prompting researchers to hypothesize that the older elephants remembered the location of the resources from decades earlier. They remembered where the water was from decades earlier. Uh, the matriarch is who is in charge of the, the herd of elephants, and it's typically the largest female. This large female, using her memory, she can remember what elephants are in her herd. They did an experiment once where they placed urine in front of uh, this matriarch, elephant urine, and she smelled it. And when she would smell a urine that was not from a tri one of her elephants in her herd, she would react, react in a bad way. In other words, her memory was, hey, that doesn't belong to me. Imagine you're a mom and you're going to the grocery store and you've got to keep up with four or five kids in the store running around. These elephant matriarchs do that with 30 elephants. There is truth to the notion that elephants have good memories. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you would like to improve your memory, I have a memory course. Uh, it's called Black Belt Memory. It teaches you how to remember names, numbers, speeches, everything else. Down in the description below, I have a link that if you go, you click on it, you get a, a free PDF gift and you can learn more about my Black Belt Memory course. If you learned a little bit about elephants, give me a thumbs up here. If you like this video, tell me your favorite elephant fact down below. Uh, and uh, we always appreciate it if you subscribe. We all have, have very educational videos. I'll see you on the next video.